Bruce and Meredith, it is a special night, not only at Yankee Stadium, but for every major league team and fans of all Major League Baseball. Bob, there's no doubt about it. Not only is it a special night where we're celebrating the life and legacy of Lou Gehrig, but it's also an important evening where they're raising awareness for ALS and raising funds to eventually help find a cure for the disease. And Garrett Cole was in the Zoom room earlier today and spoke about being part of this inaugural day. What we learned from Gehrig is, is, is some of the virtues I think we all try to aspire to be and uh, you know, humility, sportsmanship, hardworking, perseverance, winning type of guy. Um, and I'm obviously a magnificent player. Uh, just really on par with the Yankee brand, I think. And I, you know, I, I'm humbled to play for an organization that, that, that had him. We see his number in his jersey in our locker room. Jackie's family came to UCLA uh, one day when we were playing to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day as well. Uh, when you share that that connection, uh, I think when you're in the same organization, like when you see the jersey, when you see Clemente's jersey, and and I, I, I used to hear stories about Roberto from Tom Walker, Neil's dad, who, who played with him, uh, it, it makes it more personal. When you're wearing the same jersey as them, there's, a, there's another connection um, that makes you undeniably closer to that legacy. Uh, and so... You know, whether you hold yourself to a higher standard or you're more in, uh, you know, thankful and, and to, to be able to be associated with that player, you know, whatever it may be, uh, it's, it's definitely different. Uh, and I'm certainly blessed to have, I'm certainly blessed to have played for, for three places where, you know, three of some of the most impactful baseball players of all time have come through. Um, and it's probably, it's probably had an impact on, on my career. And Garrett Cole has a personal connection to this cause. His father-in-law, Mike Crawford, will be honored tonight. He's part of the Lou Gehrig Committee. He was one of the guys that petitioned Major League Baseball to help make this day happen. He has been an advocate for ALS, raising money for years, and he was also instrumental in talking to Major League Baseball and the Yankees to bring families with those who are suffering from ALS and their caretakers here to the ballpark tonight. You'll also notice players on both sides will be wearing red for ALS wristbands and patches to commemorate the day. Turning the attention to the lineup, you are going to see a new center fielder, familiar face, but different position for Aaron Judge. I asked Aaron Boone why he felt comfortable in putting Judge in center field tonight. Probably in the last week, um, he and I have had some conversations about it. Um, he very much wants to do it um, in, his, in his game to do it. Um, and then last night, um, you know, before he before he left late last night, um, you know, I, had a, I had him pop his head in my office, and we just kind of, hey, you ready for this? And he's like, let's do it. So, you know, obviously understanding we're in some unique circumstances right now where um, it's needed, and uh, Aaron's excited to uh, step up to the challenge. Look, center field, obviously, to be an everyday center fielder in the major leagues takes a more unique skill set but I think any any outfielder would probably tell you you know going from a corner to going and play centers probably a little easier than the opposite it just you know to be a regular center fielder obviously you know uh, there's more to it so um, look I think he'll handle it fine and it'll be seamless um, and and I just think he's equipped athletically and fundamentally to go over there and handle it and Garrett Cole was asked what he thinks of Aaron Judge playing center field tonight. And he said he's just about as excited and intrigued as everyone else to see what transpires, but expects that he'll come out wearing that Superman cape that he often wears when he plays. Now, there was a roster move after last night's game. Mike Ford was optioned back to AAA. They brought up pitcher Brooks Krisky today to add a little bit of depth to that bullpen the way they had to use the bullpen last night. They did an unbelievable job using six different relievers, Six scoreless innings, but it does give Aaron Boone a little bit of insurance should they need some length out of a reliever tonight. And Corey Kluber is still in L.A. getting that second opinion on his shoulder. Aaron Boone said there's no new information yet on that, but they should have something in the next couple of days. All right. Thank you, Mary.